the streets of Minneapolis are full with history at the forefront. The Emancipation Proclamation did free the slaves, but in reality, folks were still enslaved and didn't know that they had been freed until two years later. Juneteenth marks that moment. We have built a community protection system. Say Tool, a multicultural workers' rights organization, held a celebration led by future fighters, the Black Coalition of Say Tool. There was a lot of suppression of the message. No slave owner wanted his slaves to know that they were free. And so across parts of the South and some places in the North, there were a lot of revolutions to free the people themselves. Those conversations of our history are happening just down the street from where George Floyd was killed. What better day to do it than on Juneteenth, right? I wanted my sons to see it. Dwayne Rushing chose to be here on Juneteenth. The company that I worked for uh, gave us the day off today. It was a paid holiday, and it, which gave me an opportunity to uh, drive my sons from Chicago to Minneapolis to be here at this moment. Having four black young men, uh, sons, I think it's important for them to, to see this to understand that it could happen to anyone. A lot of our history is coming for people of all backgrounds don't know about the whole Juneteenth and how it started and what what's the reason as to why we celebrate it. Now celebrations are happening all across the country more than ever, including a community festival and rally for justice in North Minneapolis. Momentum is growing to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. It means a lot right now to a lot more people than it normally did. And just to know that people of all shapes, colors, whatever race, no matter what, we can all get together and have a good time. And it's powerful. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Whether through art or activism, people of all ages are reflecting on this day. I love all black people. Like seven-year-old Ava Marie. I care about Joyce Ford and I care about all black people that die. My shirt that says free-ish, we were light free. They, I, it seemed like we were free, but the idea that, you know, we're not free. Until we have equal footing in society, we will always be free-ish and not necessarily just free. In Minneapolis, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News.